Hello Virgo, we're getting ready to do your reading. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus of Virgo. We're going to take a look and see what is going on for you for the third week in July, but the reading is timeless. So let's take a look and see what's happening. Oh, a card just flipped. What's going on? All right, this was in the, a reversal. So what we're seeing here, Virgo, is that you don't you left something behind and you're having remorse and regret. You're feeling as though you wish you had not done that. So let's see what's going on currently. That's the recent past. Ooh, lots of cards flying out here. Virgo, for many of you, you are married. It looks as though you have marriage on the mind. There's someone with whom you have a very traditional love feeling for. You feel at home with them. You feel like you've known them forever. You've really shared a lot with this person. Look at this energy, soulmate energy. That is Gemini energy coming in. You feel as though you need to make a choice. The Hierophant card is Taurus energy, but you need something very grounded, very stable. But you also are a person, Virgo. You know, you're very patient. We know that about you. Let's see what you're feeling right now. The Strength card reversed. Wow, look at these reversals in the first row. You feel as though you didn't maintain strength in a relationship. You're feeling very much as though... You don't have fire in your belly. So I get that for many of you, you may be trying to make a choice between a marriage and a lover. The Page of Swords is reversed. You don't want to let go. The Page of Swords reversed means that you really do know that you need to let something go because we have this dandelion. And it's flying away in the wind, and yet you're trying to pretend it isn't. So what is it that you are allowing to fly away in the wind that you are not acknowledging, Virgo? What is that energy? What is going on with you at this time? All right, let's look and see in that how you are viewing the future, what you think is going to happen. The Empress card, look at that. Oh, my God. So Taurus, Taurus, so, you know, you may see your future as someone with whom you're married. You see the path forward as being true to commitments. The Queen of Wands energy, there we have the other woman and the wife, okay. Wow. A choice that has to be made. A choice has to be made, and you're trying to hold on to both people. So obviously this isn't going to really work for everybody. You know, this reading is a general reading. But I am getting that at the very minimum, Virgo, you are all up in your head about what to do. The strength card, you're not feeling very strong. You're not having any conviction about walking away. You don't want to let go of either person. You don't want to make a decision. You're really fighting it. I didn't even see the Queen of Wands card. I put this card down and then I looked over in my hand and it was turned over. So you really feel as though you need to make a choice between two people, married or not, you know, committed or not. You really feel as though you want something solid, you want something reliable, but you also want something exciting. The Lover's card says that you're very different from a person that you're in love with, that you don't know if it can work. But we're going to clarify Spirit is saying, in it to win it, Virgo, in it to win it. To win it, you can only ride one horse at a time. You can't juggle people. You will not have a victory if you do not follow hummingbird spirit, which is to focus only on one person at a time. Your outcome card is the emperor, the female emperor, really just trying to manage everything. So let's look and see what the clarifiers are for you, Virgo. Okay, why you walked away from somebody and now you're not, yeah, no more player energy. All right, so you walked away from being a player. It looks as though you had some sort of epiphany, some sort of feeling. If you weren't the player, you walked away from a player. The King of Cups says you're very much in love with someone, that you walked away in, or, in, or, in order to show 
loyalty to someone, the Three of Wands, the person you're going to go forward with in your life. The Page of Swords says that you are spying on somebody. We see that twice. So you can't really let go of this person, but you have made a decision in your heart space in the past. We have the star card, so you do feel as though with the three of swords, you do feel as though both people that you love are really amazing people in their own right. It's making this a very hard decision for you. You feel very heartbroken. You feel as though you got yourself into a pickle somehow in a third party situation either either as a third party or as um, the marital partner to another ten of coins yep so you feel as though you can't leave a relationship a marriage relationship because there's legacy heritage your ancestral beliefs are very much old-fashioned I think that you are coming from a culture that does not believe in divorce that it would not really be accepted Two of Wands, but you're not really in agreement with that. So even though you feel drawn to that, you really would like to live more passionately, more honestly. You'd like to be out there. You'd like to express yourself more. Tell us, oops, oh, cards everywhere. Okay, oh, I almost lost my coffee. All right, so look at this. You want to come back to a lover. You want to make amends with a lover. But you want to give them a very, very tiny offer in love. You're hoping that you can have this person in your life. But it doesn't seem that you're really going to give them anything of substance. I'm getting the energy of the Page of Wands, the Page of Cups. You like to communicate with this person. You want a new beginning with them. Again, you're not going to really give them an offer. The Five of Cups, you're not even going to apologize. I don't know if an apology is necessary. But you're trying to get out of feeling sad. The person you're dealing with is a very strong person. They're very forward movement. Their, their emotion in their life is moving forward. The Six of Swords, you really want to heal the relationship with them. Again, <laughs> um, you're talking about a Judge Judy person, somebody who's very definitive. A very much boss is up in their life. Very Queen of Queen of Wands energy. Your person's strong, and you know they're strong. But it's like you're trying to placate them. You're trying to keep them in your life. It looks like you're trying to be of service to them in some way that they may need your help. The Strength card. You don't have fire in your belly for the lover. Tell me about the Strength card reversed. Four of Coins. Okay. So you really are not being adventurous. You're not really willing to fight for anything. You're just going to hold on to the status quo. You know, what this says is, you know, well, I'd like something bigger and bolder and more magnificent, but I don't really think I can have it. I think four coins is all I can handle, staying in the here and now. I will offer romance to my lover, but I'm not offering any kind of a balanced relationship. That's what you're showing. You know, it shows that your lover is not really wild about being with you. They're willing to let things go, but you're not. You're trying to stay very balanced in both your relationships. The Two of Cups is where, you know, you are feeling like you want a best friend and a lover. The Hermit card, there you are, Virgo, in your reading. You know, you're thinking all these thoughts, but you're really torn between two lovers. It's just... The Ace of Swords, you really do know that you would like to be with the Queen of Wands. But you also feel total loyalty and a lot of love for the person who you've had a life with. You also feel as though you can't leave the current situation. So tell us about the Queen, tell us about the Empress. Virgo, tell us how you feel about this Empress. Ooh, there's a lot of arguing and harsh words with the Empress. It looks like it's tough. Seven of Cups. You fantasize about your lover when you're with your wife. Six of Wands. You want to be victorious in the community, though. You want the acceptance of your community, so you're going to stay in that Empress energy. You're going to stay with your Empress, I think. I feel as though with the Queen of Wands, what's going to happen? You're not going to tell your Queen of Wands what the truth of the matter is. You're going to keep them in the dark. 
your person may be very spiritual. The Queen of Wands is coming up as something, somebody very empathic, very uh, psychic. You feel as though they're a magician. You feel as though there's a lot of magic between the two of you. You feel as though they've walked away from you or they will walk away from you. So you're walking away from them first is what I'm getting. So it looks like for many of you, you're all up in your head about this relationship you don't want to let go of and yet you can't give your lover anything. You're not really happy with your wife, but you're going to stay. There we go. We have the... We now have the strength card upright. You're going to stop your worrying. You're going to defend your actions. You're slowly moving towards a total renaissance in your life. You want to bring the tower down. You want so badly to bring that tower down, to have a new beginning. You just want it. You feel as though you're very sad in the status quo. Yeah, it's a tough one. Six of Wands, how will you find your win? Well, see, here's the problem. You want to have a win with a marriage, and yet you're bored. You're bored out of your mind. You want to be happy, and yet you're not choosing happiness. You're, you're trying to move forward at snail's pace to defend the status quo, and yet you're all alone. You feel like you're alone. You're a happy person. You've mastered your emotions, but you're not happy being all alone, and you feel as though you're definitely caught between two lovers. There we go. Here we go. It looks like, once again, the way your outcome card, the person you want to hang out with is the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands, Queen of Wands. That's the person you're drawn to. You like the fiery energy. You feel as this, this person's very commanding in their presence and their in their life. You feel as though they have everything that you want. There you go. You are the emperor. You feel as though this is your divine partner. You're not feeling as though your empress is your divine partner. You're feeling that the feminine emperor is divine partner, and that's what the queen of wands is, the feminine emperor, and you're an emperor. In your own right, you're both very powerful in your work lives, and your business. That's what you're looking for. That looks like it's what you want. Four of swords, you need to heal the relationship. Virgo, 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 we need to look at what your ancestors have to say because I don't. you're not going to resolve that this week. That is, you're really going to have to stay, stay tuned next week and see what happens. Let's see what your ancestors have to say. Since you're very caught up in what your ancestors are doing, old family traditions and vibes, let's see. Shift your perception, air guardian. All right, so there's something that your, your um, ancestors are telling you that you need to shift your perception. Let's get another one of those. Let's keep pulling and see what they mean. What do your ancestors mean by this? What is the, what's the shift in perception about? Be devoted and committed. Okay, so there's your Hierophant energy. You're absolutely what your ancestors are telling you, Virgo, is stay married. You need to think about your relationship differently. You have to shift your focus onto your marriage. And that, you know, dream of the journey. You're on a journey. It's not the beginning. It's not the end of a journey that you're in right now. And to stay within, you know, stay married is what your ancestors are saying. Now let's see what the energy of the earth, the forest has to say the wisdom of the earth and what it's going to tell you. Earthly advice is often very different from what ancestors tell us because remember, we also carry our ancestors' burdens with us. So let's see what the forest oracle has to say. Frog spirit renewal. You need to rest. You need to relax. You need to recuperate. You need stability. You need to stabilize yourself. And you need the courage to live with your convictions. You need to be making decisions that are honest and real and reflect who you really are inside instead of what you think others expect of you. So, you know, this can be vice versa, as we all know. But Virgo, I'm going to leave it there for you. Take care.